You guys say cool beans? No, it's not a cool thing to say anymore either. I just kind of trying to bring it back right now. <laughs> I know that this is actually a, a carp fishing lake, like a private carp lake, but it's normally these places that hold the best pipe because everyone ignores the pipe. <laughs> Somebody fishes for the Yeah, pipe. exactly. Quick tip. It's good to know. So being that I, I didn't really bring any bass tackle and I sure as heck did not bring any pike fishing tackle, I'm gonna have to rely on this little MTV box that I brought to catch some pike. First off, I got some craws. This is kind of like an eh option for pike, but I do have this decent little wake bait. And then I found this thing right here, which is this little, uh, uh, what is it called? Tidal shot jitter jig, which is a, basically a weedless chatterbait. This whole week we've been fishing for well, I guess other than the wells, mainly fish that are bottom feeders that don't necessarily hunt up top. But today we finally decided to go after some UK pike, which I believe are a little bit different than the pike we have back home. I think their patterns are just slightly different, but for the most part, they're the same fish. One last thing before we get today's video kicked off. I will not be filming off the Sony a7S for the remainder of this video for a couple reasons. One of which I only have one battery that has 19% juice left. And the other reason is I want to pack light. So I'm going to use this opportunity to film off the new phone that Sony hooked me up with. This is the Xperia XZ Premium. This is a phone that you've seen from a lot of slow-mo stuff. You may have seen me film off this thing and not even know it. But today, I solely want to film off of this. So I'm going to switch from the A7S, which is this camera right here, and I'm going to switch to this. this is me vlogging off of the, uh, the Sony. So let's get some dopey roll with this little Xperia, and more importantly, catch some pike. You guys ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. You're waiting for me, aren't you? That's your choice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think the first thing I'm going to throw is this little chatterbait I got in the bass box for the month of what is this what is the month today or this month june june is the month of this month nice always good to have a little cabbage on your spinner bait really increases your chance of hooking up check this out this is a dope trick boom skills There we go. Yes! That was so cool. I both flipped a pike. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen a pike both flip. Not a pike of that. Are you size. serious? These fish are pretty vicious. Now, now that I come to think of it, these look like pretty much the same as the ones we have back home. Still toothy as all heck. Look at that, just bent the spinnerbait straight. First English pike, England pike. Well Ooh. done. Little gator guy. Pretty sweet. Did you get the bite on camera? Oh yeah, it was like, dude, it bit right there. No way. Yes, it was a yeah. crazy strike. Switched it up. That pike destroyed my spinner bait. I'm gonna throw a little weedless swim bait now, see if that has any effect on them. They could be like tucked under stuff right now, because that fish was yeah, and you had a bite right there too, didn't you? Oh, oh my god, god. Pound, that was huge. Oh yeah. John. John. Yeah, oh my. Bro, it's a 20 pounder right here. Right. I just booted it. That was 20 pounds, easy. Yeah. Flipping it, that was a 20 pound pike, just came in and like, went for my lure. No joke, it was huge. Is it? Oh. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. No! Oh my god, it took a perk, that's why! What just even happened? Do you swipe it or just follow it? Is that what that wake is from? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. still swirling. Holy sh! Wow, so I really don't need to explain what happened because you guys will see it on camera, but basically what just happened was a freaking purge ate Alex's spinner and then. Oh, oh, oh! Yes! That's a good one! Sorry, man. Not a big one. 
Yeah, don't flip that. Oh, it came off. I flipped it. We're hooking them now. That was number two. Dang it. Wow, that was pretty eventful. I thought that was the big one, honestly, at first. I was like, whoa. Not when he came out, but like when he hit. I was like, yo. I heard you guys yelling. I was like, oh, what happened? What's going on? Help us. What do we do? Oh, God, a 20 pounder would just be amazing right now. So, Perch ate that swim bait? Oh, I thought you were throwing a, a spinner. Oh, my God, that would have been a decent freaking perch. trip done pike fishing was fun also getting the first taste of some rain here in, in england which didn't really expect that uh carl is going to pick up the the van and then what are we going to do from there Alex? carl is going to check on tanya fishery where we did the first night oh he's going to go and check yeah and if there's not many people there we're going to do a night and try and catch one more big catfish we're ending the trip on how we started that being targeting the big wells we didn't really get the big one that we wanted so it'd be kind of nice if we went back and tried again that'd be like ideal maybe just maybe we'll catch another wells calf which that would be right on step one two catfishing in the rain you need to set up some umbrellas that's what i've got in my left hand right here we're going to set these up oh wow look at that things look pretty cool yeah long story short gonna catch some some kitties monstrous the rain continues we have got all of these rods set up two of which are already in the water Thanks to Alex. And then Carl over here is getting the good old Spam rigged up. The Spam, as you guys may know, was the uh, main juice as of last time, so hopefully it pans out. We just saw a massive catfish roll right where we're camped out, so could mean good things ahead. We're just gonna hope that uh, we stay as dry as possible and that these catfish open up wide. That would make staying out in this weather pay off so much better. It's pouring, absolutely pouring. This would be the time that a rod would go off too, so if we do get bit, we're all just gonna get absolutely drenched. Quick update before I go to bed. A few hours have passed, we've had dinner, no catfish, one bite. The rain has stopped. It's miserable out here, absolutely miserable. This is quite a way to end this trip, but hopefully we're, we're suddenly woken tonight to a screaming drag and a thrashing Wells catfish. That would truly make this trip completely whole. But for now, I'm turning this off. And I hopefully we'll see you guys shortly. Good night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, unreal. Yeah, it's fresh. Pants on. <laughs> nice job. Um, okay, we there's some sharp stuff. Um, sharp stuff. Yeah, we should, like we should just cut people's line before. Um, Do you want to grab my pants? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Okay, yeah, you... We're good? Am I good? Try and stop it. <laughs> okay, no, no, don't just... Don't lock it up, obviously, but... Yeah, I got it, I got it. You know they do. Whoa, different. dude. What the hell? <sighs> I kind of need these. <laughs> I don't know, you might get more views. <laughs> it's been scrapping so well. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh no. Has oh it no. gone around the back of those pads? Yeah. Alright, just keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. Pump him. Get, yeah, walk back. That's normally the best way to do it. Just keep slowly walking him back. Oh. That 
power. You could just feel it. Uh, All night we've been woken up to the sound of beeps, short strikes, not a single fish. And the, the one time we finally get a good take is in the morning. And it's a good fish. And we lose it. I lose it. That's how my morning starts. What a way to start your day. Losing a potentially 50 pound plus fish. No big deal. I love it. That's what fishing's all about. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That was not exactly how I planned on closing out this uh, overnight fishing experience, but we don't get to make the rules, the fish does. <laughs> I think in a sense that fish is going to leave kind of a, a bad but yet a good taste in my mouth. I'm going to be a lot more driven to come back here. That fish literally caught me with my pants down from here. We're going to head to the airport. These guys are going to drop me off, and then I leave back to the States. Oh, in case you're wondering, too, I switch from the phone now to this camera just to save some battery. But, uh, yeah. See you later, English ducks. Bye, ducks. Stars. Oh yeah, goes. Cool, thank you. That's it. The journey stops here. Eight days total in England with two of the best yet the goofiest anglers I think I've ever met. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. But it was honestly probably one of the coolest international trips I've taken thus far. That was so dope. I'm gonna miss Barbel. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss Colin and Alex, but you're nah, definitely gonna miss the barbell. Definitely bobble. gonna miss the barbell. I'm gonna miss the barbell. So the journey comes to a halt here. I always have a difficult time ending these series, these international trip series, partially because I don't want them to end. It, it's hard for me to wrap up something as special as a trip like this, especially with Carl and Alex, in a special place such as England fishing for these species of fish I've never encountered before. This trip was something out of my childhood dreams. I'll never forget it. It was a truly eye-opening experience, not only for me as a person, but me as an angler in general. Between all the amazing cinematic and dope B-roll video that Carl, Alex, and myself shot throughout this trip, and all the beautiful fish that we managed to cross paths with, there really wasn't anything about this trip that I would have changed. It was so incredible, it was so pure, it was so straight to the point, and I can't wait to visit this place again. Before I let you go, I want to leave you with one last and final important message. That message being, keep traveling, keep creating, keep fishing, never stop.